Oh, this might be dangerous. Should have just kept on going north. Should have just kept on going north. Falcon, what are you doing? <gasps> it's the devil! Yo, what everybody? We are here today checking out a little upcoming banger by the name of Deadlands 4000. Now, this is part of the ongoing Steam Fest at the moment, so keep in mind, I'll have a link for you down below in case you want to check out the demo in your own time. That said, Deadland 4000 itself is a throwback to your old school classic rogue like. Like. Not light. Like. So, I'm just making that distinction because otherwise, you know, I'll get a lot of, um, actually, Falcon, you know what? Every now and then the actuallys are actually quite welcome because I make mistakes when I speak. This time I'm not, though. This is a throwback to your rogue like. Not only that, but the year is 4000. Way, way into the future, a post apocalyptic future. We are brought out of, um, you know, cryogenic sleep. You know, kind of like, you know, Sly Stallone, Wesley Snipes, and Demolition Man. Which I'm so glad. I'm so glad that that movie is finally now getting the recognition it deserves. Oh, God, I hear about it so often now. Like, back in the day when I watched it, and even growing up, nobody ever talked about it. Nowadays, you know, people talk about it beyond the seashells meme, which is always a good thing. He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we gotta do here is um, give ourselves a name, obviously, so Falcon69, you cannot go wrong with that. What type of characters do we got here, asking? We have a child. I'm not sure why you would bring this child out of cryogenic freezing. We have the hobo. Starts with scavenger. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, browse through these guys. You guys can pause and read if you want to right there. The red and the blue pill for the agent. I see your memes, game. How about we do a little um, throwback to Neil Scavenger? The old hobo simulator, as we used to call it, right? It's time for us to start. So after many years of sleep, you emerge from cryostasis. Someone left a note by your pod. Hello, I found you in your pod. I'm waiting for you. My home is just a couple of miles north of here, XOX. So, I mean, after being frozen for God knows how long. I mean, I'm not even sure why you would buy, you know, cryogenically freeze a hobo to begin with. I got so many questions. I hope we get some answers here at some point. But I imagine after a long time of cryostasis, you know, that's a, probably a good thing to wake up to, huh? So north. I imagine we gotta follow our little thing right there. So technically for us, north is gonna be northwest. If we're gonna be going out that way as north. Well let's see what we got here in this lab that we were waking into. Is that all oh, do let that be candy corn? Oh, <gasps> it's candy corn. I'm a huge proponent of candy corn. I know I know not every people not too many people. I mean, I feel like candy corn is like eggnog. It's like a 50-50 split. There's people like me who absolutely love eggnog and candy corn. And then there's people who who are monsters, by the way, who absolutely hate candy corn and eggnog. It's like, you know, how, how, how do you hate something so good? Like, uh, why do you hate life? Is there a particular reason? <laughs> I'm doing a number on my body already, though, by the way. Candy corn and cigarettes? Yeah. This one apparently gives us radiation and plus 10 smoke. Smoke a cigarette for 10 turns. A war afterwards, get an instant speed action. While smoking, you don't get hungry. It's, uh, you know, the diet of champions, some would say, huh? Yo, man, we woke up to some good stuff. Look at all the stuff they're giving us here in the startup spot. Canned beans? Look at that. This is the hobo diet. Canned beans, cigarettes, and the occasional, you know, stale candy that we find in the garbage. All right, let's, um, XI. Oh, jeez. We have a goal to start off with already. Now, keep in mind, every seven kills, apparently, we get random items, so there is that. Come at me, ghoul. One down. He dropped, apparently, tainted meat, which will drop our HP, but it'll give us a little bit of hunger restoration. I'm gonna do that because we recover HP here as we... as we move, as long as we have food. What the hell is that thing? A robo-turret. Mmm... I'm gonna probably uh, avoid that thing, because that's gonna probably range me from afar, and we don't have a ranged weapon. And because we got so many goods at the start, let's actually pump up our food, so that we restore more HP that way. And let's go around this robotic, um, sniping thing, huh? Another go here. This one I don't mind too much. Come at me, cool friend. I will take this, because we are currently restoring HP, so that's perfectly fine. So now we're outside, which means obviously we're in the, um, care of the elements as well. We're not inside, so whenever it starts raining, it's actually like radioactive rain, I believe I learned in the tutorial. So if you see some of that, well, it's probably best for us to get ourselves inside. Remember that. We are still currently restoring HP, so there's that. We have a couple of um, buildings coming up here, too, and more radicates. Come at me, my rat friend. Once again, since we're restoring, I will eat that. Just eat all the tainted meat in the world. Nothing in here. We got some beds. Um, I guess we don't technically have to rest just yet. 
Ratman. I'm happy we're seeing a lot of you guys early on. Because you're relatively easy. Two more kills should get us our first scavenged item. Curious to see what we can draw. It is random, so it could be something really good. It could help us early on or something completely garbage. Sardines. It's also nighttime now, by the way, so... What is this creature roaming about? Two of them, as a matter of fact. Uh, I just want to trigger one. Rat man, that's fine. You come at me here, and we'll meet up right here. Let's have this. Let's have that. And again, as long as we're restoring HP because of our hunger, it's perfectly fine to have that. At least for now. It doesn't seem to be harming me long term. All right. Now that right there should be a jukebox. We can turn this on if we want to. In order to make noise to, like, say for instance, it was like a horde of like, some sort of messy we wouldn't want to deal with. You can turn this on, make noise, and basically dip out from the back or something like that. Or maybe around. However which way you want to. You can also do that with guns, because they make noise when you shoot them. Obviously. Unless you have a silencer or something. But it's uh, another tactical way to kind of get around some dangers here in this game. Oh! Something's shooting at me. It's probably one of those Roboto dudes again. So you know what? I don't want anything to do with that. He did do some damage to me right there. The bullet hits you for five damage. Yeah. We have a little... Status menu thing up there. Well, for now, let's continue going up uh, north. I want to meet the Senorita. And what's in here? Another ghoul. With beans, though, so that's good. Let's uh, have that. And you know what? Let's have some of these beans. I'm about to pick up another one right here. Perfect. Grandfather clock. That one's not moving. It could be another Roboto. No, it's a. Uh, oh, it's uh, the Goo Boys. So these guys, I believe, every single time they attack you, they give you radiation, so if you want to get some of these mutations happening, this is a good way to ha make it happen. Like I say, you want to go for like a mutation-only run. I guess that would be a pretty good thing if you have the mutant character that you choose at the start. Basically, just load up in mutations that way or something. I'd imagine so it probably would benefit that type of uh, character, but who knows. Ooh. Alright. No, of course, as I mentioned, noise is the only downside to this, but for now, we'll keep. We'll keep. We also got some cereal. Eight uses, eight usage of this for four each time. That ain't too bad. However, the only problem now is that we are completely overburdened. Let's keep moving. Hmm, we have apparently hit some sort of a sil- The hell was that noise? You hear a haunting scream from 14 tiles away. hell's this? Video drone robot. Okay, hey, uh, come out here. Lucky you got low HP, but you do hit pretty hard. Okay, uh, my boy here is asleep. Wake him up. I'm kind of worried about this scream, though. Um, how we doing right now? I'm thinking right now what we do is... Uh, uh, let's have one of these boys have this, do that. What's in here? A ghoul who's asleep, and he's apparently he's sleeping on a lollipop! Which gives us 3 HP back. I will take that. As a matter of fact, let me get this, because uh, we could do a little bit of easy, quick restoration with the lollipop. Radman? Okay. More Siri. Oh, we don't really technically need it right now, so I'll skip. You hear a haunting scream from 15 tiles away now. What the hell is... I mean... What happened? Oh, my game froze there momentarily for some reason. Are you the one? I mean, he does do a lot of damage, but he's down. The container or rucksack container six. Okay, we should be back after a little bit of a cut here. I had some technical difficulties, I'm not sure. For some reason, this technological marvel of a graphically intensive game was um, making my recording just like, you know, stutter and skip for some reason. So I dipped out a bit, I dipped back in. It seems to be hopefully fine now. I hope that's the case. You know, I'm sorry to say, I, I apparently can't handle this game. It's just too much for us. Uh, that said. When it comes to Ruck, uh, I don't know what this is, dude. Container. Oh, yo, it just gives you extra carrying capacity. As a hobo, that makes me really, really happy. 
Um, I'm good with HP now. Let's pop this. <gasps> That's what it was. It's a banshee. Oh no. Oh no. Blindness and curse. It's ready. You know who's ready as well? Your boy's ready. Oh, 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 wait. No, I didn't kill it. No, Falcon, it blinded you. It's right there. Oh, no. All right, uh, Banshee, how can you do this to me? It's still alive. All right, it's dead now. And everything's coming at me because we made noise, as I mentioned. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, dog. It's a mutant, goo mutant. We have now uh, mutated again. Or for the first time. Uh, screaming urges. You have a 2% chance to scream, making a loud noise every turn. That sounds very terrible. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad one to have. Unstable evolution, gain one radiation every 60 turns. That also sounds pretty bad. We'll be mutating constantly. Well, I'd rather do that than just letting out a scream that's gonna alert the entire map to me. Alright. What have we got here? Ghoulish. Down. Candy. Okay. Have candy, I'm no longer blind, that's good. Let's pick this up as well, we'll have it. Another goo boy, and he's down. All right. So those screams we got down here was uh, a banshee. Good to know. We got two more kills before we also um, get another random drop here. So one more of these should do it. We'll have this. We'll have this. Again, we're low on HP, but we're recovering now. We're in a different biome altogether now, too. Can I go through here? No, it's too deep. We have to go all the way around. Ooh. This I got in the tutorial as well. It's a tome. We gotta read it, which takes a little while, 90 turns, but we actually learn something from it. Um, I'll probably do that at nighttime if we get to somewhere kind of safe. I guess I could kind of retreat back to where we're at. That seemed kind of relatively safe. Oh, no. That's not safe. That's not safe at all. Hey, Banshee! Leave that bird alone. Okay, let's um put this here. She's within range now, and we got him. Get him out of here! Let's keep moving. Let's handle the ghoul first. Pop this. Rat man, come at me. The easy ones we definitely want to partake in. We've lost a lot of HP eating this tainted meat now, so I can see my to be careful with that, by the way. Uh, let's see. Let's get myself a little bit of a different view. Go this way. Oh, good. The cemetery. Getting more radiation. Trying to figure out what that noise was. It was just the the unstableness of her mutation, apparently. Okay, let's have this to kind of offset that a little bit. And uh sardine. Sure, we'll make a little room that way. Uh I guess we'll dip inside of here. We're still following quote unquote the north. I really don't want to spend too much time in the Cemetery, if it means anything. It's almost nighttime, by the way. There, it's nighttime. Nighttime cemetery! I don't like it. Oh! Blob mutant. It regenerates one health every turn. It hits kind of hard, too. It spotted us, though, so we gotta throw down, unfortunately. Okay, keep um, everything else that's scary away. Is that. Ooh, there might be something over there. Oh, okay, okay, let's. Oh, this might be dangerous. Should have just kept on going north. Should have just kept on going north. Falcon, what are you doing? <gasps> It's a devil! It's a wendigo. It's, a, it's within my area too, by the way, so lose one food every turn in the wendigo's vision. Alright, luckily food is not really too big of a deal. What's more worrisome is the fact that it does 9 HP damage apparently per head. Um, okay, okay. We got nothing here. It's gonna really help us out. Oh, it's two of them. Oh no. Oh no, don't, don't do it to me. Oh god, we're so close to dead. Okay, we gotta chill. We gotta chill for a bit. Hey, you, are you asleep? You better not be moving over there. I'm just gonna hang out right over here. Okay, we gotta keep moving now, though. I was gonna restore a bit more, but these things are now creeping up on me, and it could be more Wendigos if we've noticed this area is filled with them. I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna go around it. Oh good, we have a maze. Let's uh, rotate the camera here a little bit, Falcon. Do we have to go through the maze, or can I just go around it? Oh, there's a big chest there, though. Oh, the lure of the harpy. What is this monster right there creeping about? Is it another Wendigo? Oh, there's so many monsters here, dude. It's just a rat. Okay, a rat's fine. 
Okay. We actually could get there relatively easy by avoiding just about everything there. Pickled eggs. Blob boy. Blob boy's fine. What's in front of me over there? I don't know what that is. Ugh. Oh. I mean, what, what, whatever is guarding this could be pretty vicious though, right? Is he only concerned? It's gotta be, right? He's just standing there. Guarding that chest. What's this coming at me? It's another blob boy. Alright, we gotta throw down, right? I am, uh... Oh god. <laughs> I need to get the hell out of here or at least just kind of chill back and forth here momentarily because my HP's almost gone. Oh, good! Radiation rain. It's actually like radioactive rain, I believe. I learned in a tutorial, so if you see some of that, well, it's probably best for us to get ourselves inside. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get inside of somewhere. Max health decrease. Oh, that's, that's what I want right now. Ever turn outside in the sun, which, I mean, technically, I don't, it's, yeah, I guess. It's, it's acid rain, but I'm pretty sure this just indicates that the sun's out, so... That's gonna drop, apparently, my... It's gonna take me do 0.25 damage, because uh, I'm an albino. <laughs> okay, um, both of these suck. I think the other one will kill me instantly, it's gonna kill me at least, like, you know, soon enough. I I'm about to die. I'm just gonna go and at least see... Yep, yep, I'm dead. Is this considered? It's considered indoors. Oh. <laughs> this might be the clutchest moment of all time. Laser cannon, flamethrower. I mean, this would literally keep me in the game a bit longer. Oh God. Laser cannon. I gotta take that because it'll keep me in the game a bit longer, right? Oh, the way that goes alive! Well, um, <laughs> we've come to an end. I could flee probably and die as we flee from acid rain, or I could just duke it out here with the Wendigo and um, his damage is enough to kill us in one turn. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, look at Deadlands 4000 here. And give it yourself a try. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Oh, God. Let's make a run for it. <gasps> he's not chasing. You know why? Because he's smart. He's like, I ain't stepping on that acid raid, dog. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up a second. Oh, I gotta reload. Reload. Just reload it. <gasps> now everything's coming out on me because we made noise. Okay. You sure you want to do this, ghoul? Huh? You sure you want to do this? I can't, I can't shoot him? It's like right outside of my range or what? <laughs> All the ghouls are coming up! Guys, I think we actually might survive this. Ah! Ah, you didn't. <gasps> he survived it. I guess uh, the run continues, at least for a bit longer. Oh, and there's more monsters creeping up because of the noise. I just need this rain to stop, dude. Oh, it's the Wendigo again. Good. Good. Didn't see enough of you already, huh? Um, okay. Okay, fuck. What do we do? What do we do? Move here. <gasps> no! No, I didn't! I wasn't trying to shoot there! I was just trying to move! Okay. Make sure you're not clicking on the gun when you're trying to move next time. Freaking rain, go away. What is it this time? It's a blob now. This is like the final stand right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all we're doing, just waiting for the inevitable as we allure every single monster in this area towards us. Wait, what are you, dodging everything now or what? Have food. I don't know, dog, read. <laughs> just read. Oh no! We're out of bullets, Falcon! No! No! Oh, it's a dead end! <laughs> Damn it! Why would they make that a dead end? That was on me for now. I, I was hoping that there was like an opening there we could just probably pop there. I just didn't see it. Oh, God. 
Well, it's it's funny because we technically died where I thought we would, but we died after I thought we would, you know? Like, I was like, oh, yo, we actually got out of this somehow. But it was basically the noise. The noise was lowering everything to us, and we had to wait out the storm because otherwise we would have died from the radiation thing. So it was basically, we were going to die here no matter what. We just went out the most baller where you imagine was just basically blatting to be demise, which is honestly always the best way to go, you know? Never just take it sitting down. You go out fighting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the information for Deadlands will be down below in case you want to check it out for yourselves. I'll catch you next time.